Set up the little bit of screen on I'm Ben Sechuka. I'm Nicole Oki. I'm Orange Eve for the one. I'm Lee. I'm Luke. The thing about our band is we have a lot of different influences, a lot of different genres. So we tend to stray from whatever genre people may think we are. So we like to jump from like <sighs> one genre. Like we'll play, let's say, a very hick song a bit, and then we kind of jump into a very fast paced kind of sound. Space rock or something like that. Or... Mm. Yeah, I guess. <gasps> progress. Okay, we have a lot of progressions too. Because we're progressing as people. We're progressing. We are yeah, progressing. Slowly. It's okay. We're getting better. <laughs> no, I was homeschooled and then I went to high school and I met. Um, I believe this guy, he had the same pants as me, and... Yeah, I was there too, it was and like... Yeah, yeah, it was, a, it was a pants thing. Guys, <laughs> like it's essentially like a, a small scene developed, or a small group of people developed who would get together and play music. Yeah. Um, just because we were all into music at that time. I mean, it, was, it was back in like grade 9, grade 10. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a solid month. Yeah. It was all of February. Was it I February? So. I think it was February yeah. that we recorded in. Like first straight month, we rented equipment, um, and just yeah, did it all. Just right through every day. It was like wake up. Yeah. Eat, play music. I didn't get <laughs> not even eat. No, yeah, just no, no, wake up. There was, a, there was a time of not a lot of eating at that point. Yeah. Yeah. We, we would learned our again. songs a lot. We would never do it again. Not that. Way. That's not exactly true. And that isn't true. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah maybe. maybe not in that basement. Maybe not with the same equipment. Maybe not with. Few things, but it well, like you know, with each other, me and Luke were actually just walking down the street and we found this, uh. A little picture right on a crack too just you know just yeah. add to the irony there <laughs> and like i don't know it was all like grainy and very old it was just this kid with pizza eyes he would just yeah. look so happy and he was just like i've never seen a kid. what kind of kid does i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> so like this <laughs> if you could each switch lives with one musician for the day who would it be and why Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Jimmy. You want to be Jimmy? 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 Oh, oh my God! God. No. <laughs> I sometimes want to be Jimmy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> well, Kate, okay, be specific as to which Jimmy you're talking about. Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Okay. Oh, oh, dark, boy. dark. Yeah. 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 Like, this boy wants to be Jimmy. Nice. That's what I want. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. I actually, I was thinking the lead singer from Bombay Bicycle Club. Really? What? what? Nice. He's just like very modern, very like chill, very into everything he does and like the songs he writes and. Like the the guitar style he plays appeals to me so much, and it just just because like watching them play live nowadays, like I oh I'd love to like be that guy. Oh, uh, actually, <laughs> alright. I could not. I'm gonna go back. Okay. I'm gonna go back uh, to Ray Charles. I'll be Ray Charles. Yeah, Ray Charles. <laughs> It's okay, I know he's blind and all, but like man, he voice. plays some. Yeah, I would be jiving. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably want to be Kim Gordon. She's uh, the bassist in Sonic Youth, and like it'd be so much fun to literally just like do whatever you want in like this weird little environment. I don't know. I can't really think of one, but I guess like I guess Bob Dylan would be pretty sick. I mean, he's pretty badass. Like he's kind of like the original badass, but like lyrics wise, and I really like lyrics. Like are like pretty important to me. So I guess like lyrics, like as a lyricist, he was just so kick ass. I'm like way back when too. <laughs> So if you guys found out that the world was going to end, how would you spend your last day on Earth? We did find a out show. that the world was going to end. <laughs> a show. Just... <laughs> I woke up early. I woke up early that day and I remember waking up Luke. 
<laughs> so this is the last question. Where do you guys see yourselves in 10 years? Uh, oh man, That's no. really depressing. Probably in another shitty apartment. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So as a band. Oh, yeah. yeah. I do. Oh, fuck Just yeah. still being pretty odd and... Yeah. Hopefully being, I mean, being like so... so yeah. Hopefully living in a nice city or a nice like... An like Vancouver. City, like we always, we always talk about Vancouver a little bit. Like yeah. I think we'd really enjoy like... It's time to move out. For sure. A nice yeah. Like, yeah. area with a good culture. Yeah. We got music scene. Yeah, as long as we get to keep on playing music. As long as we keep progressing. <laughs>